Hey everybody, how you guys doing? Um, well today I'm doing an unboxing and review of this Stillman wireless uh, chassis here. And uh, basically what this does is it allows you to hook up different transmitters on your vehicle and you'll be able to use this receiver right here to listen to the different areas where you have all of these different uh, transmitters here uh, attached to on your vehicle. So uh, basically, this is um, all what's included here. All them. Hold on, let me hold this up. Oops, sorry about that. So you have one receiver, four wireless transmitters, one set of mini earphones, four cable lead slash clamps. 12 nylon straps, 12 Velcro straps, 6 AA batteries, 12, I'm sorry, 16 AAA batteries. You have a location identifier notepad, nice and they include that, and an instructions manual. You have an organizer pouch and moldy case. So let me open this up so you can see what's inside. Okay, so first. Um, it comes in this uh, nice uh, moldy case here and this is uh, pretty much oh okay actually this foam protector pad should it's actually if you can see here it's actually glued in and I was kind of messing around with it earlier just to kind of um, see make sure all the parts was here so this is uh, basically exactly how it comes so this area right here is where all your batteries are um, it's nice that they included the batteries this right here is your receiver and as you can see it has a signal strength here it has an on and off switch right here you have a headphone jack right here these are different channels that you select while you're listening for the noise that you're trying to diagnose. As you can see over here, all of the transmitters are numbered. One, two, three, and four. Comes with four, it actually has up to six transmitters that you can buy, um, well use, um, but you have to buy transmitters five and six. So, This is what it looks like. This is the wireless antenna. This is the on-off switch. I'm, obviously, I don't have any batteries in it yet. Um, I believe if you switch it over um, this way, it turns it on, but I'll find out once I put batteries in. Then right here, this is the jack for your actual uh, wire that you connect to it, which they call the cable slash microphone. Um, back this here, right here, you have a clip for it. This space right here is where you put straps through. So let's uh, take this out here. This takes six AA batteries, and then each one of these um, transistors here. Each one of these takes four. So here's the pouch. Down here, uh, we have the notepad. Put that right over there. And then the instructions manual, which, which you can see is, uh, yeah. Pretty straightforward. And actually, you can actually download this beforehand, before you order this uh, from their website. And as you can see, it's, it's pretty, this case is pretty deep. Um, yeah, it's actually pretty deep here. You could probably fit some other stuff in here um, if you want it. Um, but the case here is kind of like a vinyl. You know, it looks um, really nice. It's nice to to include this. All right, so let's see what we get in here in the case. Let me move this out of the way. All right. 
Okay, so these right here are the Velcro straps. Um, and here are the different um, uh, clamp cables here. And as you can see, it plugs right into the actual um, transmitter. And um, it gave some zip ties. And then these are the earphones. So basically what I'm using this for is I have this annoying knock rattle on our minivan. I've been trying to diagnose for a couple of years now. And I haven't spent a lot of money replacing parts and everything. And I haven't replaced anything that wasn't already worn. But the problem is, is that it only does it when I'm driving. And so there's like no way that I could replicate this. So I'm hoping by using this here will help me to diagnose this problem. So let me set this up and then I'll show you exactly where I'm going to be setting up all the, the different uh, transmitters. Okay, so I have the batteries and everything. Um, I already connected the cable and a clamp, which this actually acts as a microphone to the actual transmitter. Okay, and you turn it on here, you switch it over, and you see the red lights on. That's how you know that it's on. Also, these are magnetic too. There's a magnet right here, which, as you can see, sticks on my table, you know, as well as the clamp. And then you have the strap. So you have three ways that you can connect this. The actual clamp cable is roughly two feet uh, long. And let's go to show you. So I'm going to turn this on. Did this, it's like really sensitive. So I don't know if you can see that. But if you can look, you see not only is the button lit up, but it's also raised. So if I hit two... I know they're all actually the same size. But anyway, um, so I'm going to turn this up. See? So what's good about this is, is that it'll be able to pick up the noise only to what this is clamped to. So anything that's surrounding it, that's making noise, it shouldn't pick it up. So now I'm going to go ahead and install these in different areas on our van. All right, so I have all four sensors hooked up. Um, I have a sensor here on the actual um, ball joint, lower ball joint. I have one also on the stabilizer bar and link. Um, this one for the ball joint, that's number four. Stabilizer bar and link is number um, three. And then let me take you up top. And then up here, I have um, transmitter uh, or transmitter one on the passenger side, upper strut mount, and then over there on the driver's side. The driver's side isn't making noise, but what I suspect is, is that it's the strut that's making the noise. Um, and I'm going to listen to both of them because since there's no noise on this side, then that one should be quiet. And that'll let me know for sure. So um, the ones underneath, I used the Velcro um, through here, which I couldn't show you because I was just too close to it. Um, but these I just left up here. And they're magnetized, so they're just going to stay there. So, let's go for a ride. Okay, so hopefully, um, we're dr I'm driving now, and I'm hoping that you'll be able to hear uh, the noise that I'm talking about. So, basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to an area where it's... Um, bumping. I'm going to 
not talking, I'm gonna let you listen, and then I'm gonna turn on the receiver, and we're gonna listen to see if we'll be able to pinpoint where this noise is actually coming from. And right now, um, the only thing I have on is I have on the, the heat because it's a little cold, but it's on low, so, so um, you shouldn't really hear it. So that was one. Of, that was one of the noises. Sometimes I can't tell if it's uh, more than one noise or not because it sounds different depending on the weather. You know, if it's like really cold, it's like much louder than um, when it's a little warmer. Okay, so um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the receiver now. And we're gonna start with channel one. Oh, sorry about that. So channel one seems pretty quiet. And that's uh, the strut on the driver's side. Okay, so now we're on strut two. So right there, that's the stabilizer of our end link. And that's the ball joint. So you can still hear the noise, but I don't hear what's actually making the noise. So we'll switch to one. There's no uh, signal. Signal strength is pretty low. Okay. Well. That was something. Normally it's also a good idea to have somebody else with you doing this, but because I'm doing this solo, so I'm doing this by myself. Okay, well, as of right now, all those four spots that I picked, all of those are eliminated at the moment. So, um, I'm going to check the lower control arms. I'm going to check the um, inner tie rod as well as the tie rod itself. Um, and I'm not sure what else underneath there I'm going to check. I'm going to check something else, but right now, it seems like those things are pretty good. Um, I guess I'll check the spring on the passenger side as well. Okay, so I'm not going to bore you with that, but I'll definitely come back and let you know what um, I found, if anything.
Okay, well, I have found my noise after about an hour and a half of testing different parts. And it's just what I suspected. It's the upper strut mount. As you can see, with um, uh, indicator lights from the transmitter number two, you see that the lights match up with the actual sound. Um, I have it turned down just a little bit just because I'm recording but you can clearly you can clearly see that that's what my noise is so I'm grateful that I was able to find it um, and I'm thankful that I didn't swap out any parts and I tested the driver's side strut as well and you know it was fine so this is on the passenger side so my next thing I'm going to do is, because this is on the warranty, I'm going to go ahead and exchange it and I'm going to use this video for proof to show that there's something wrong with the strut um, because I don't know if they're going to be able to know that just by looking at it. Uh, I have no idea. So um, yeah, so this um, wireless chassis here you know, it actually worked pretty good. I did damage um, two of the cables, which I'll show you that. Okay, so um, this is the top of the passenger side strut mount. And as you can see, this is number two. And this is where I attached it to. Because see, the thing was, in here, I attached it to the actual, the top nut. But I wasn't hearing anything. Um, and this is the transmitter one. So I decided, I'm okay, I'm going to put it right here and see if I hear anything. And sure enough, that's where it is. I even tried this nut right here and didn't hear anything. So, you know, that just goes to show you that whatever the noise is that you're looking for, um, these clamps have to be actually, you know, on it in order to pick it up. So, um, this is what I wanted to show you. This one got damaged, I guess, when it was when I had it underneath. Um, maybe it was because it was rubbing up against something. And then on another cable, when I pulled this out, the inside part broke off. You know, go figure, right? You know, so the cables, you know, they could have done a better job, you know, with these. And then I was having an issue with my number four transmitter where it was making a lot of noise. I don't know if maybe the batteries are dead or just not good. Um... It's not making noise now, but it was just making, it was giving me a lot of feedback. So, yeah, yeah, we'll have to see what goes on with that. So, I'm going to change out that strut, and then I'll report back to let you guys know if that's um, solved the problem. So, I'm all done with the repairs. I replaced both struts. I replaced the stabilizer bar end links um, because I damaged one upon uh, installation and the other one had was just a little bit worn so I figured I'll just change them both out and since they're under warranty and also change the all the tie rods because they were worn too when I was just doing my regular general inspection but the the noises are all gone uh, you know she's like really quiet and no noises at all. So the Stillman wireless chassis here, you know, and finding and confirming my noise that I suspected, it, it really worked great. Especially after, you know, like I said, it's been like almost two years I've been chasing these noises, you know, and it's really been a pain. So I highly recommend it. It's kind of expensive, but it's definitely worth the money um, in the long run. So guys have any questions or comments um, you know 
post them at the bottom of the video and you guys have yourself a blessed day